Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Those who already studied about the structure of human eyes and also the structure of camera, you know there are some uh, comparison between the uh, camera and the human eyes. And in this class is about the comparison between camera and the human eyes. I uh, already uploaded a video on the structure of human eyes and these figures is, was, was part of that. So I didn't actually remove this picture because it will give you an understanding that what are the parts of it. You know that iris, pupil, cornea, conjunctiva, sclera, choroid, uh, retina, phobia centralis, uh, ciliary muscle, suspensory ligament. These are the part of a human eyes. But when we think about the comparison between camera and human eyes, we need to think uh, topic wise you see there is something written here and I hope it will uh, work uh, for your understanding the relation between that so first thing you think that in case of camera it has a light proof chamber so camera has a light proof chamber but human eyes is also working as a light proof chamber and this is eyeball so inside camera uh, light proof chamber because to prevent the reflection of light unnecessary reflect of light so that is why it has inside a light proof chamber but also in our human eyes we have light proof chamber which is eyeball so you can say that eyeball works as a light proof chamber secondly in camera there is a convergent lens system so when there is a convergent lens system you know that when the rays convergence that real inverted and diminish uh, of image will be formed so similarly here in our eyes also real inverted and diminished image is formed so there is a similarity in between these so it's not actually a distinguish between human eyes and camera and also some comparison that in both cases in camera and in also human eyes real inverted and diminished object will be formed number three is aperture so in camera aperture is controlled by the diaphragm but in our eyes iris control the aperture that means you know the light and this is actually the the functional similarity between eyes and camera in case of camera it's done by the diaphragm and iris works as a diaphragm in our human eyes so what is the function of diaphragm in case of camera it controls the aperture the aperture controlled by the diaphragm in the camera and similarly in case of human eyes iris is working as a diaphragm number four shutter shutter regulates the time of exposure of light in case of camera there is a shutter so shutter means you know in our human eyes eyelids are doing it so we can actually close and open our eyes and we can actually controls it voluntarily so it's actually working as a shutter what is the similar functions in case of camera so you can see that when we need to exposure I mean the light of exposure so the time of exposure of light that is regulating by the shutter of the camera and the same thing is a uh, control in our eyes by the eyelids so eyelids is working as a shutter of camera fifth that a photosensitive film that means the the image that is formed in the photosensitive film inside camera but inside human eyes the image is formed in this layer which is called retina so inside camera the image is formed in the photosensitive film but in case of eyes uh, it's formed in retina so here the photosensitive film and the retina they're doing the same thing number six adjustment of the lens when if any object is placed in any distance and think about a cameraman they're doing they're adjusting and it's called focusing when they do these things then the distance between lens is adjusting so what is what should be the blurry and what should be the focusing point they are 
controlling it through the adjustment. The same thing is happening in our human eyes and it's called the accommodation power. Our eyes is automatically change the pupils and the uh, you know the iris is automatically change the lens is also automatically change when we want to see any object from any distance. So when we see the mirror object, when we want to see the moon, when we want to see the sun or some infinite distance thing, then some sort of changes happens in our eyes and this is called accommodation. But in case of camera. In case of camera, some adjustment need to done. So that adjustment is that when the, the cameraman is doing things and adjusting that part which is actually 20 yards in front of them and then focusing. So that focusing or adjustment should be done in case of camera but in case of eyes, we have accommodation power. And lastly, we see that inside or inner side of the camera is blackened due to I mean uh, back and forth for preventing the reflection of light but inside human eyes you know the choroid this is also a deep black inner side membrane which is a uh, you know, presence of melanin are there so it prevents the internal reflection inside our human eyes so what is done by the inner side because it was it is done the inner side is blackened to prevent the internal reflection and in case of our human eyes choroid are doing the same functions so we can say this seven primary relationship or comparison between camera and human eyes so you can see firstly that we can say that light proof chambers camera has and in case of light proof chamber it's doing things by eyeball it's a convergent lens system similarly it's also a convergent light system but it's really inverted and diminished of uh, image will be formed aperture controlled by diaphragm iris controls it that means uh, iris is working as a diaphragm of human eyes shutter regulates the time of exposure of light so in case of human eyes eyelids are doing it so eyelids is working as a shutter photosensitive film is the place where image is formed in camera but in case of human eyes retina is working as an image formation center or image formation layer six the adjustment that i said earlier of lens and the film of the camera should be done through this is called focusing and in case of human eyes it is accommodation power and lastly we can say that the inner side is blackened to prevent internal reflection and in case of human eyes choroids are working same so it's a very simple and primary lecture uh, of uh, the comparison between human eyes and camera so i have uploaded series of videos on refraction of light right now and those who already watched all the tutorials do let me know that you really understand these uh, lectures and is it really working with you and if not then let me know and if it's yes also let me know so that i can adjust my next uh, 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 tutorials or things to you so take care stay well stay blessed